In this video, I'll show you how to set up package deals. Maybe you have a room type such as a single room that you want to sell as a standard single room, but you also want to sell that room type as a single room with breakfast. In this video, I'll show you how to set up package deals with a breakfast included option, but really the same principle can be applied to any kind of package deal, such as an airport pickup, a honeymoon a special package, or anything else, really the options are endless. And the first way is a more simple option. You'll go to settings and after you click on settings, it'll automatically take you to your accommodation page. And here I have the single room, room type, and there's 10 units in it. I wanna transfer five of these units to a new room type that will be for the package. For that, I'll click on add new and I'll title it single room with breakfast. I'll add a description, just call it test for now, add an image, and I'll make it so that the price is slightly more. In this case, it'll be $15, $5 more because it's a more expensive package. Now I have the new room type created, but instead of creating new units for it, I'll just transfer units from the other room type to this one. I'll transfer five. So in this example, I'll transfer units 106 to 110. To transfer a unit, simply click on the unit, then click on edit. I'll switch it off for the single room and switch it on for the single room with breakfast. Then click on okay to save. And you'll see that it has been transferred to the single room with breakfast. You can just repeat this process for 107 to 110. Then you'll have five units here and five units here. This method may not be ideal because you're not able to sell all 10 with the package deal or without the package deal, and it limits your flexibility. I'll show you a way to sell all of the units as an either or option for the, the package deal or without the package deal. First, I'll switch this um, unit back to the original And I'll delete this one because I'm not going to use this method. Instead, I'll click on add new. I'll switch this switch to on. This is a duplicate. And I'll, this room type that I'll make is a duplicate of another room type. In this case, it'll be a duplicate of the single room. So I'll select that. And I'll name it single room with breakfast. Everything else is the same make the price $15 because this is more expensive. I'll click on save. And you'll notice that now I don't actually have the option of adding new units. That's because it's borrowing the same set of units from the single room. So this lets you book at this rate, but it's actually booking these physical rooms. I'll give you an example. Let's go to new booking. and I'll have two different guests. And let's say one of the guests would like a single room, the standard option, they'll go to 101. And the second one would like a single room with the breakfast package. They'll go to room 102. You'll notice that they're for different prices. I'll click on next step and actually complete the booking. And then here, here we have it. We have it for two different prices. And actually on the calendar, if you take a look, we'll see that one is booked in 101 and one is booked in 102, but it's for two different prices as we just saw. And here it's listed that 101 is a part of the single room room type, but it's also part of the single room with breakfast. In this example, we showed you how to make a price surge for a package, but you can use the same principle for a discount, such as creating non-refundable rates for the same set of rooms. This can also be useful in case you want to have a higher rate on a booking channel, such as booking.com. All you'll need to do is map or match the duplicate room type with room types that you have on booking.com or whatever channel under the channel's mapping page. Also, all restrictions and price changes that you make to one of these two room types will only apply for that room type. So let's say, for example, 
you made a duplicate and you connected that to the channel but you temporarily wanted to block your rooms from being available on booking.com well then you can just make a restriction for the duplicate but not for the original the original will still be bookable in-house or on the public booking form but the duplicate which is linked to booking.com will be restricted and the same principle applies for making price surges or price changes Another option is that you can make a duplicate an internal room type. That's good in case you want to make lower rates for in-house bookings. It lets you sell the same physical room type for a lower rate. Well, that's it for now. We hope you found this tutorial to be useful and helps you maximize the use of our system. Thanks for watching.